Shepard and meteorologist Lauren Whitney, and uh, we're ready for a little weather change. Oh, you can see the winds of change are already blowing in. It is pretty gusty in many areas, all the way from Craig through Bailey down towards Pueblo. You can really see sort of that uh, western side of the state is pretty gusty all the way down to parts of the southeast. So we'll see those winds continue overnight tonight. And looking at our satellite and radar, we do have snow in the western side of the state. Uh, Purgatory Ski Resort reporting that it's already seen a foot of snow already from the snow that we started seeing last night through today. As we take a look off to our west and the system that we're watching, right now it is over California and into Nevada. This is going to continue to make its way through Colorado overnight tonight through tomorrow. So let's look at our future cast. Until tomorrow afternoon, Front Range Eastern Plains, we are going to be on the dry side. That snow is going to ramp up overnight tonight. And we're talking some really heavy snowfall mixed in there. Front Range Eastern Plains tomorrow, some sunshine, some cloud cover, maybe a little bit more fog in some spots. And then we'll see the chance of snow roll into Denver later on in the afternoon. So it could start as early as noon, most likely not until after about 2, 3 o'clock for us. And then we'll see that move on through. And then it should quickly clear late night into Wednesday. And then we do have some snow expected out on our eastern plains. There is a slight chance that there could be some flurries still sticking around with us on Thursday morning. But most of it does look to clear out late uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So we have winter weather advisories. Parts of the eastern plana, plains, Yuma, Kit Carson, Cheyenne counties, about two inches of snow. But there could be some icy conditions, a little ice glaze mixed in there with that. So watch out. Our corners, we're looking at about two to four, five-ish inches of snow heading on in here to the front range. We do have a winter weather advisory in place tomorrow. The Denver area, maybe two to five inches. Some areas could see a little bit more. Some areas maybe a little bit less. But somewhere in that range is possible. So Wednesday evening's commute may be a little bit messy. We've been used to some morning commutes that happen to have been so fun. But tomorrow night could be a little bit tr tricky. On the north side of town, heading towards Fort Collins, Estes Park, Rocky Mountain National Park, we're looking at maybe about two to uh, six inches of snow, maybe seven in some spots. And then as you head towards Frisco, Winter Park areas, maybe about three to eight inches. And we have a lot of snow headed for some of our western mountains from the northwest all the way down to the southwest. Almost two feet of snow are possible with this storm system that are coming through. You add in winds up to about 50 miles an hour, and we're talking some low visibility. So some of our mountain passes could be a little bit tricky out there. We will take all the snow that we can get. Seeing all this is excellent news for us. Right now it's 43 in Denver, 34 in Greeley. We have the 20s, 30s out on our eastern plains. High country, 20s and 30s, 30s, 40s off to our west. And we have 48 degrees from our weather watcher, Deborah, in Roxborough Park. 46 degrees here downtown. It was just outside. Feels a little bit cooler with that little bit of a breeze. So you may need a jacket if you head out this evening. 49 out at DIA. Yesterday, remember, we had 57. So we're just slowly taking about 10 degree temperature tumbles every day since Sunday. 61 degrees here downtown. And looking at our lows for tonight, not too bad for the front range. 25 in Denver, 22 in Fort Collins. 20s, teens out on the east in the high country. You'll see about the same, mostly in the 20s off to our west. Tomorrow, a big cool down. We drop down to 30 here in Denver with that system moving through. 30 in Fort Collins. We have the 30s out on our eastern plains. Our southeast still in the 50s and 60s, 20s in our mountains. And for your five-day forecast, 22 on Thursday. So we get a lot cooler around here. We're talking single digits overnight into uh, Thursday. And then we'll be a little bit uh, warmer by the time we hit Friday. I know it's going to be cold because my mom is actually coming on <laughs> Thursday. Every time she comes, it drops down to the teens and 20s. And she hates it because she's from Phoenix. So uh, that's why I know it's actually going to get colder out here. It's all her fault. Just when I was getting used to this nice weather, too. I know. All right, mm -hmm. thanks. Sports is